What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 video. I'm on my mobile setup, I'm gonna buy a new laptop. This laptop's so bad for recording on, but who's with us today? Hello, guys, today we have a banger. You guys definitely, 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 definitely watch this one through. This one's fun. Yeah, so I was trying to think of a fun video concept because I'm like, I'm on vacation right now, I'm in Boston. I'm trying to think of like three videos that I can make that would just go really hard despite not being able to record in game. And I was like, okay, Neil, hop on. We're going to talk about abilities that need to be items because that's like a thing Pokemon does. Those They're slowly changing like abilities to be items. Like, Can you think of an example from this gen, Neil? Okay, so we have a bunch that we wanted to talk about in this video. And the first one's actually one, one of the more fun ones. Just going to ignore me? <laughs> Just ignore my, my thing? <laughs> I said, Wait, I said, do you want to come up with an, or like, what's an example of like one this gen that they turned into an item? <laughs> oh, shoot, dude. I thought, I thought you said we could get started. No, no. <laughs> oh, That's fine. We'll leave uh, it in. It's what? fun. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did they do this generation? I kind of have to like search this one up. Uh, Honestly, I forgot. Let's just. <laughs> covert cloak? What? Covert. Oh, yeah. Covert cloak. Yeah. Covert cloak. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. It's shield dust. Okay, guys, it's, it's shield yeah. dust. It's covert cloak. That's all right. So like that's an ability that they only gave to like really weak bug types. Like if we look at like all the shield dust Pokemon, like you'll see like, oh, wow, this ability is like busted because it's just Covert Cloak, but it's Frost Moth who already wants to run ice scales, which also that could be a really cool item. It would just be broken. Uh, you know, you have shield dust on yeah. Venomoth, like all the weak Pokemon get the cool abilities. But no, like we like I want them to be items. So all right now, Neil, <laughs> wait, actually, before we start, <laughs> leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what you think. All right now, Neil, go ahead, introduce it. <laughs> okay, my bad. Yeah, the first one, and this is this was completely your idea. This is regen turning into an item called health pack. Now, this actually sounds like something they would do. Like if if next next generation we just got health pack, it wouldn't actually be like surprising. But it's just so cool. And do you want to explain the logistics behind it? Yeah. So regen is an ability that gives you thirty percent of your health rounded down every time you switch out and back in. And they kind of give it to Pokemon that would only be balanced on. What we were thinking about when we were building this is like, okay, well, I mean, like, if we gave, like, Blissey Regenerator, why would you ever run, like, Boots or anything? You just switch out, switch back in, you know? Uh, like, normal Regenerator Pokemon, yeah, Toxpex is annoying with it, but it, it feels fine on it. It's, like, built to be a Regenerator Pokemon. Cyclozar, Cloth, it makes sense for them. But, like, let's say that you wanted to run a Regenerator Annihilate. That would be broken if you could just give this thing regenerator. It's like because it remembers like the rage fist boost, right? So right, our, yeah, our, yeah our, our concept for balancing it was it's basically a citrus berry in that or not a citrus berry. Um, it's basically like a pinch berry, like those like the wiki berries, how they give you like 33 percent of your health. Uh, but it's one time use pops once and it's like whenever you want. So like, let's say that your annihilate took 30 percent damage and it's at like 70 percent health. Well, now you'll be able to switch it out and back in and it's at 100% health, like that sort of thing. It's it's like one-time use whenever you need to switch and like there's not like the risk of like a wiki berry where you might not even get into the range where it'll pop. Yeah, and like one thing we have to consider is that like for some of the abilities, we have it like actually show as soon as it goes on the field, but this yeah. one doesn't show. So if you uh, if you bring a Nihilip down to like 30% instead of like 70 then you have like Citrus Spirit, you go back up to 55 and then the one-time Regenerator. So it's actually kind of nice that it doesn't stack because like if it stacked, actually see, that was my first idea and then the, my Incineroar came to my brain and then we, <laughs> we were just like... <laughs> oh, wow. No, I didn't even think about Incineroar. Dude, if we gave like Incineroar or Arcanine or any... like, Oh my God, wait, no, 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 no. Lando T. Lando yeah, T dude, with Lando Regenerator, that would break it. No, but like Incin with Parting Shot, you just, you take like 60% from something, just Parting Shot out. Yeah, so like one time use, like I'm really yeah. glad that we're not like our concept isn't like, you know, just oh, regenerate whatever you want because that would break certain Pokemon. Incineroar, Grim Snarl, like the ones that aren't running like Light Clay, that would break them absolutely. They're already really annoying to KO, so being able to like parting shot yeah. in and out, intimidate things, yeah, no, no, we're gonna do that 30%. Um, no, but I think that definitely. I think that Annihilate's a prime example of a Pokemon that could run this because it already runs like leftovers or citrus berry or whatever. And it already has good recovery with like Drain Punch and like the bulk up set. Mm -hmm. And while you don't always want to like lose your bulk ups, there are situations where you kind of want to just get off the field. And it, it, it sort of gets rid of the, um, 
I don't know, what is it called? The sunk cost fallacy where it's like, oh, well, my Annihilate's already set up. I don't want to like lose it. Let's just keep going. It sort of gets rid of that where you're yeah. like, okay, I keep my I keep my Rage Fist boosts. So let's just get 30% mm -hmm. of my health back by switching out and we'll come back in when it's more like, uh, it's it's like better for my matchup. Yeah, I think Annihilate, like that, that example is really important because it's a Pokemon with a really high skill cap. And I think in a lot of like scenarios, you can actually just allow it to like swap into something that's kind of weak, take the hit and then swap out. And then in the light game, you can actually, like, save the Rage Fist. So I think, like, the regen stuff actually makes a lot of sense for it. Yeah, and, like, the Citrus Berry is already a high demand item. Like, there are some Pokemon where they want to sit on the field for a while. We actually saw Citrus Berry Corviknight do really well at that uh, recent regional. Or, no, at an OCIC. So, like, you know, Citrus Berry Corviknight, very good because it gets, like, 5 hit KO'd by Iron Bundle. But if you want to put the Citrus Berry on, like, a Rotom or whatever, well, now you can just... Actually, no, Rotom would actually probably prefer the... Uh, what is it? Rotom would actually prefer the yeah, regenerator. Volt, yeah, yeah, because you volt. You Not can Rotom even Frost, like but you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not specs, but like, yeah, yeah. Like, will o -Wisp, Volt Switch, Hydro Pump, Protect, Nasty Plot, Helping Hand, like, all that stuff. Yeah, it's it's just like a solid example. These guys, they go crazy. But uh, you want to introduce mm -hmm. the next item? Okay. The next one, and this is the most creative name out of all of them, we're calling Lightning Rod the Lightning Rod. Yeah, <laughs> the Lightning Rod. Like, all right, so this is another one-time use. Because just yeah. imagine giving something Lightning Rod as an ability. Imagine giving Zapdos Lightning Rod as an ability. Game Freak has never had that idea in Gen 5. Um, <laughs> they didn't release it, though. <laughs> but yeah, so, all right. So um, there are a couple of uses for this. You could slap it onto your water Pokemon. Let's say you want to... I don't know, uh, Tatsugiri might actually be a decent example of this because it can protect like a partner Pokemon, like a like a Gyarados or whatever. But now you have two immunities and like, let's say you're facing off versus like a Rotom and they want to go for like a lightning rod into you well, or like a an electric move into you. Well, your lightning rod's going to protect yeah. you. You get plus one. You can hit him back with a like a, a muddy water that turn. Gyarados could also use yeah. it, but like it wouldn't get like the full boost from it. So maybe like a partner for the Gyarados would be better. Oh, and also Charizard. We have <laughs> Yeah. I think also one thing that we noted about this is that obviously it's one time, but it also it shows up as soon as you get on because you don't want to be like, okay, I have specs Rotom clicking Thunderbolt and then the uh, like Dondozo just has that item and then you just lose. Yeah, I think that there are certain Pokemon that should display items like, I don't know, I feel like open team sheet wouldn't even be that necessary if like it just like announced it's like Rotom hit the field and like text below Rotom is holding the you know just just to let you know yeah um no i think also like terrestrialization like when when we got the announcement that terrestrialization was coming my first thought was just like oh my god it's gonna be so annoying to play in real life events and then they made the battle box mistake which made them like oh. actually show territory yeah Dude, imagine the battle box mistake didn't happen oh uh, we'd just like, we'd be done do results would be so different mm -hmm. like oh my god oh you That'd know be wild all right I just realized that like this is also a really great anti regi like item because it makes it so you don't get the speed drop and you just get a plus one. So I think a great Pokemon for this would actually be a Spothra. Oh yeah, true, because you get speed boost and you can kinda kinda ignore Regilek. You get plus oh shoot. And you can Imagine, do stored power. That's, that's a crazy defensive swap. Yeah, stored power, like Lumina Crash, like whatever you need to. Yeah, and then next turn, does it outspeed Regilek yet plus one? Is that one of the few Pokemon that can? Mm -hmm. No, but you can, uh, you don't even, you can run Modest Nature, just make a hit, like, whatever, 139, you don't even have to invest that much, and then you can just make it bulky, protect the next turn, and you're fine. Yeah, like, Stored Power, Lumina Crash, Lightning Rod, the Lightning Rod item. <laughs> yeah. The Lightning Rod, <laughs> and kind of crazy. Yeah, it's so like, that's just, like, a sick one, um, and we decided to pair it up, like, we, we did do, like, we paired these up together, right? They're, like, one spot. Yeah, The, yeah, the Sponge. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, so the other <laughs> item's the Sponge. It's just... It's it's just it's just storm drain. It's one time use. Same thing. It's beautiful. Yeah, the sponge, amazing. What what, perfect name too. Like, what do you think would use the sponge? Probably fire types, oh, I guess. Yeah, I don't think Ensign would. I mean, obviously Ensign's not in the game, but like if, <gasps> if Ensign wasn't. Chi Yu. Chi Yu running the sponge to switch in on Jet Punch Palafin. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to think about that. It's kind of <laughs> nasty. Yeah, that's kind of nasty. It could also be water absorb if we don't want to break it. Because a lot of water, I, I think that like strong water types are what are balancing the game. Yeah, and I also think the other thing is that um, like we already have terrestrialization, so these items aren't actually that busted. 
Yeah, like, uh, I don't know. In, in, like, an open team sheet format, seeing these items wouldn't be that bad. Yo, Camerupt finally, finally can do something cool. <laughs> That's so funny. That's yeah. actually so, so <laughs> Bro, the rise of Camerupt. Imagine ready. The, imagine the... Yeah, imagine 2026 Moxie boosted 100k view video. The rise of Camerupt and VGC. Competitive Pokemon lore, yes. All right, well, what's next? <laughs> what's next? We got... We're only at number two. Okay, uh, next one is going to be Friend Guard, and what do we call Friend Guard? I believe we call that one the Friend Shield. Yes, and this is, um, we have some caveats to this, like, it obviously pops when they enter, because otherwise that'd be busted, like, imagine just having set up Pokemon without, like, taking that much damage. Imagine also, Friend like, Guard like... Leech Seed Ferrothorn. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't need to go that far. <laughs> That's so funny. Like, yeah. even Garganic, cool. Oh, that'd be imagine so annoying. Garganic. That is so funny. Yeah. I think Garganical talks go up even more. But mm -hmm. like, also, the other thing is that it doesn't stack with regular Friend Guard, because, like, with Mousel, that'd be easily become, like, far too good of an item. And then, uh, this is what you came up with. We kind of debated between two or three. Actually, we didn't debate. We decided in, like, one second, but yeah. two turns is way better. Than three. <laughs> yeah, because, um, because, yeah. all right, so, like, if you have two turns of Friend Guard, it's that initial turn, and then the next turn. So, like, let's say that you don't take full advantage of that first turn, then your opponent can just protect, and then the next turn of Friend Guard's gone. Like, that's, like, big. I would say that this is going to be, like, a high skill curve item, like, like or a high skill ceiling item, right? So, like, if you were mm -hmm. to slap... I don't know, Annihilate's already great, but like, now you have, like, a good pressure mod next to Annihilate. Like, what's, like, good beyond, like, Mousehold next to Annihilate? Uh, let's go with Fluttermane. Like, yeah, they're both weak to ghost moves, but you don't want to have Fluttermane next to it. Or even, like, Iron Bundle, actually, was probably, like, the better one. Yeah. Um, like, yeah. if you have okay, Friend Guard on the Iron Bundle, it's not protecting the Iron Bundle. It only protects the Pokemon next to it for two turns. So you have, like, Icy yeah. Wind shenanigans plus, like, Annihilate for two yeah. turns. You know what Pokemon would use it the best? What? in this format right now arcanine honestly yeah it already has like so many good items on it that like you could afford to drop like the citrus berry or the assault vest or the the uh safety, safety goggles. goggles yeah so just having like intimidate plus friend guard for two turns next to <laughs> once again annihilate but also like it's really good next to fluttermane like dude like friend guard next to fluttermane is really underrated i think like it really saves this mon no, it makes it it makes them on legit. Like if you put like specs Flutterman, you just invest fully in through bulk, and then mm -hmm. you pair with like Arcan even. It's still it's still really good right now. So I, I highly Pokemon. agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, Flutter insane. Yeah. Alright, do you want to introduce the next one? Uh let me let me just buy some time as I look at the notes. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, so the want... next one I actually care deeply about. I think this one will go very hard. Rockhead, dude. Rockhead is an item, or it's a move, or I can't speak. <laughs> Rockhead is an ability I've wanted as an item forever, because the Pokemon that get it, not that great. Hisuian Arcanine is about to come out, and like it's going to have Rockhead, and that, that's kind of cool, but it's also Hisuian Arcanine, right? Um, like The Rockhead Head Smash yeah. combo is like such an awesome thing, and it would be really nice to be able to spam it. It's like just recoil moves in general. Let's say that you want to run a Darmanitan, right? Valerian Darmanitan. Yeah. And you want to go for Flare Blitzes, or you want to go for um, just regular Darmanitan Flare Blitzes. Like, you're giving yeah. up, like, the Sheer Force Life Orb damage, but you're getting no recoil on this guy. Yeah, and the other thing is, like, I think it can benefit Arcanine, too. Like, just mm -hmm. the Terrifier Flare Blitz, like, that'd be pretty solid, too. Yeah, like, Offensive Arcanine's gonna be a lot scarier. Uh, especially if you're running, like, the Justified set. Actually, I think if you were to run the Justified set, you would 100% have to run the... The uh, what is it called? The the rockhead ability. Oh yeah, we didn't even tell the it, name. Oh yeah. Okay, this name is charging helmet. It'd just be like a football mm -hmm. helmet, just like a regular football right. helmet. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. That, that sounds fun. What other flare blitz mods would mm -hmm. like abuse this? Flareon would go kind of hard. You could do uh, you could do like you know, a flash fire set, switch it on a will o wisp, and go for flare blitzes. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the strongest wave crash Pokemon. Oh, Palafin. Palafin with this would go crazy. Yeah. It already doesn't really need an item to be like really strong, but like I was running leftovers with Wave Crash for a long time and it was doing really good. But I think that being able to just throw out no drawback Wave Crashes is just crazy for this dude. Don Dozo yeah. could arguably run it if you're running like the offensive Wave Crash set with like Rest. 
Yeah, because you can just rest, sleep, talk, and then, yeah, because Wave Crash is Don Dozo's best move, because otherwise, like, outside of Terra, like, not Terra, outside of Tatsugiri, it does nothing. Yeah. Um, it would also make, like, Don Dozo a standalone mon, kind of. I don't know. Maybe, probably not. Yeah. Uh, oh, Dan Toro, I think Quay can do it pretty well. Um, other move is, what about Flare Bloods? Like, what are the strongest Flare Bloods users in the format right now? Slitherwing? No, actually. Cinderace, I would use it. I would use Flare Blaze. Yeah, I hate missing. Like, having no recoil on that would be really nice, because it's not like we care about Rough Skin or Rocky Helmet. Well, I guess we kind of care about Rocky Helmet. But, like, mm -hmm. yeah, no, being able oh, to get you, rid of that you know, for consistency. Dude, I just thought of the best example. Like, number one. You want to know? What is it? Talon Flame. Tal oh, wait. No, <laughs> Talon Flame with Charging Helmet's insane, because you get to run Brave Bird with no downside on Gale Wings. Dude, and Terra Ghost, you're fine versus Fake Out. Oh, wait, Yo. this is the best example. No, you're right. This is literally the best example. Because, like, like, you're like, getting rid of, like, like yeah, you're getting rid of, like, the Covert Cloak and, like, the, the safety goggles and stuff, so it's a fair trade. Like, yeah, no, I like that. Yeah, and the other thing about Talonflame is that you really, really want Covert Cloak just because of the Icy, just because of ignoring Icy when dropped from Bundle. So, like, this is definitely a good alternative that isn't just, like, it's going to become the most common. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's that's a good one. Good good example. Good example. All right, hey, final one. No, I searched through all. The, yeah, final one. Wait, actually, I just want to say I searched through all the examples, and then Talonflame came as like one of the bottom ones because I organized by attack stat, <laughs> and then I was like, wait. <laughs> okay, the last one is going to be Frisk, and what do we call Frisk? Frisk. Uh, I believe we called it Magnifying Glass. Uh, no, not Bayonet Mega. Unfortunately, we only have bad Bayonet now. <laughs> it yeah. would put Frisk Pokemon out of business because, like, that's, like, the one thing a lot of them have. Uh, however, for closed team sheet formats, like, on ladder, I think that making Frisk an item is completely, it's just, it's, like, super valuable. And it can be on, like, common lead Pokemon. Like we said, Arcanine already, like, has a lot of items that it can run. If all those items are somehow taken by another Pokemon, Magnifying Glass Arcanine isn't bad because of how reliable of a lead it is um yeah and it's just information like honestly like it'd be it'd be a really good item in best of ones on ladder because it's like okay well now i just know what they're running you know right yeah i think i think it's purely best of one like on cart like on not on cart but like in tournament i don't think it's ever gonna get usage just because of open sheet but like yeah there's ladder, no point. most and like i think it benefits good players on ladder too because like it just gives you so much more consistency yeah you're basically playing with open you know no new aim for the item the open team sheet <laughs> it just tells you their items <laughs> right Dude, wait i think like this kind of item magnifying glass will be really well used in uh, international challenges yeah like honestly it might be mandatory loki like honestly you've been able to like win yeah. international challenges and do well in them without needing like yeah. you know info on the teams but being able to get that info and have the most consistent player that uses the magnifying glass well would be like so cool for just the sake of competitive yeah. stuff on like ladder you know yeah and like frisk dusclops actually won two international challenges in sword and shield the oh yeah one, one was one Wolfie won it with Colossal, Dusclops, I think, uh, Conkeldur, like, Togekiss stuff, and back mm -hmm. in, like, early. And then Meluka won with Dusclops, Palkia, Kali Ice, before, like, anyone knew what Palkia, Kali Ice was. Yeah, I actually made a whole video talking about it. I'm like, because I hated Dynamax. You know I hated Dynamax. I would talk about it every yeah. video. Like, Dynamax is the worst thing ever, and then I would, like, do really well. <laughs> and I hated it still. But um, uh, I, I made a whole video talking about how Frisk is the single, like, best ability in Generation 8 because of identifying weakness policies, focus sashes, life orbs, uh, lumberries, and especially like Dusclops into like Thunderous leads were huge because you can identify the type of Thunderous based off of their item. If you saw Assault Vest on that Thunderous, you already know it's Defiant, you know? Yeah. Oh my god, then imagine running Magnet Thunderous. Oh, no, no, I hate it. Okay. <laughs> also, Regieleki, it's so good into Regieleki. Is it Life Orb? Is it okay. Specs? Or is it Focus Sash? And like, you... Uh, you you approach these like sets completely differently, you know? Yeah. Just I think Sword and Shield with like no um with no open team sheet was it was really interesting because like there there's just so many different things that can counter you, but also like just the sheer power made it kinda it was it was I would say it was okay. Yeah. But, like also think look at it now, I could never go back. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So uh, what Pokemon do you think would actually run magnifying glass on ladder? I think that like Grimmsnarl or like Arcanine would be one of them because then you get not only like Frisk because it already has Frisk right but you have Prankster too you get both. I mean, it's any good lead Pokemon I would say that. 
any yeah. good bulky lead pokemon, yeah easily i think like any pokemon that like or say you have like a specific matchup that you've mapped out where like you need to do one thing to beat like one item of a pokemon and like another thing to beat another item yeah. like i don't know reggie not in this generation but in last generation like a different game plan to beat sash versus specs like mm -hmm. or not not specs but or like i think in those situations like very specifically used magnifying glass would be good Dude, also, honestly, you know Tatsugiri could run the magnifying glass. Its item already doesn't matter a lot of the time. Oh yeah, true, true, true. Because like Tatsugiri, either running that Citrus Berry, Sash, or Scarf, which Scarf isn't that good right now. On the I hate group. Scarf. I like Sash. It's a lot easier to run. Um, and for a while, I actually run Choice Specs with like a Tailwind team because it was like you could lead off Tatsugiri Talonflame and just Tailwind Specs, Terra Water, Muddy Water, and pick up a double KO, and then get in the Dondosa. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think the Tatsugiri that did really, really well at um one of the re I think at Orlando it got top eight. It was like super bulky choice specs with like a a trick with like belly drum iron hands, mouse sold, armorage, and DD. Yeah. Honestly That was Yeah, we're we're kinda getting off track, but yeah, no 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 no. Like magnifying glass, cool item, so yeah, obviously that's first, mm -hmm. but uh, th that's the five abilities that we want to get turned into items. Obviously, there are a lot more. If we look at, like, random bug types, I'm sure we'll find one of those niche abilities that we didn't even think about. Tinted Lens. <laughs> Tinted Lens. <laughs> like, that's an item that we could run. <laughs> Telepathy Honestly, would be an insane item. Why didn't we think about that one? <laughs> Telepathy. Oh, my God. That would make, dude, Telepathy and, like, Telepathy as an item in this format would make Garchomp and Great Tusk, like... Especially Garchomp. It would make Garchomp from, like, 5% usage to, like, 30. Yeah. Um, I think the next really discussion that. we should do is probably, like, items that should be abilities. Yeah, we should do the other way around, for yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll do the other way around. We'll, we'll probably record that with, like, a third person after this, like, whenever we end up doing that video. But, yeah, uh, that's going to be it for today's right. video, guys. Before my laptop explodes, we probably have to end it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Make sure you subscribe to Neil. Subscribe to this channel. Turn notifications, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.